we have a property here in Nason County, Kildare, and just by even looking at the photographs, uh, you can tell that there is a little bit of a garden to the property. So, you know, as part of your research, you might want to know how big that garden is. Uh, so maybe you're looking at a property on Daft or on my home, and uh, it appears that there is a bit of a back garden, um, or even just the site that a property is on, and you want to know um, the approximate size of the site. There is a tool on myplan.ie that helps you to measure the site. So here you can see I've opened the website myplan.ie. So the site is an initiative of the Department of Housing. Um, so it's a, an official website where you can get some very much helpful information. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to measure a site. So to do that, you click here, view in my myplan.ie app. And it will open this next page. And up here at the top, there will be um, a, a place to put in your address and so on to, to search. But first of all, you just have to agree to the terms and conditions. Obviously, you can read down through those um, as you want, uh, but they're pretty uh, standard terms and conditions. So you click, I agree to the above, and then you uh, click OK. I'll just move this video down. So you click OK here, and then you get access to the actual address finder. So for the property that I was looking at there, I have the air code. Now you can use the address as well if you don't have an air code, but I've put in the air code there of the property and I know the address is Moorhill, Brannock's Town. Now you see there's a few icons over here to the right. Um, so what I'll do there is I'll click search. And then on these here, the layer list, you just click this. And for the purpose of this uh, example, I don't need the zone type. So I'm going to untick that because I'm not using this video to investigate about zoning in the area. Then what I'll do is I'll click this icon and I will click OSI map because that's the, the map that I want to see in this instance. So you can see now there's a dot there that indicates the property that I'm interested in. Over here on the left, you can see zoom in and zoom out buttons. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more because I want to use the measuring tools. So I'll keep going in until I'm uh, close to seeing the actual site. I tend to go in like as close as this when I'm doing uh, this type of work as in measuring the actual site. At the lower part of the screen, you'll see a number of icons. The one I'm interested in is the draw and measure tool. So if I click that, bearing in mind the site that I'm interested in is here, the, the dot indicates the actual property, and I think that's maybe the garage. So here on the left, you'll see a pop-up appear for the draw and measure tools. So what I want to use in this instance is the uh, polygon, and I'll show you why now shortly. So I click that, and then I scroll down, and in terms of measurements, I do want to show measurements because that's the reason I'm, I'm here. So it brings up the options. Now, in terms of the area units, I'm just going to put it to acres, but you can put it to hectares if you wish. And then I'm going to put it to meters. Okay. And then you use the tool and it will indicate to start drawing. So wh what you do is you find the first corner. So I click. You can see the line forming there and I'll click at the next corner. So this is all the site that the house is based on. And I'll click the next corner and you can see the, the plan is starting to work. And it's telling me double click to complete. So I'll double click to complete once I get there. So I'm going up to this corner here. And I'll kind of come out a little bit because it goes out a little bit there. So I'll there. Now that's just the entrance driveway there, the kind of U-shaped thing. So we leave that. Uh, because it would still be on the site. So then it's telling me double click to complete. So I'm back where I started. So I'll double click now. And you see there it's brought up 0 0.5 acres, 100 and I think it's maybe 179.5 meters. But this is the figure that I'm interested in, 0.5 of an acre. So it's it's a half an acre really, I suppose. Well, it's not as well, that's what it's telling us, but it's obviously an approximation, but at least it gives you a good indicator. And obviously then you can do a converter if you need to, uh, to other measurements. Another thing you might want to know is, you know, road frontage. So you might want to know, what, you know how much of the road does the property take up? So in that instance, I would go line here and I would start. So 
I click here, now I don't let go of the clicker. Uh, you just drag and then all those kind of drop. So that's 45.4 meters is the road frontage um, measurement. So that's how you use the My Plan website to measure a site or a back garden um, in city properties or in town properties. Maybe you want to know the size of the back garden uh, to compare to another property. Uh, so it's a very handy tool just to get an idea. Thanks for watching.